What's up, webheads? How's it going? And welcome to another episode of Mad Matt Sanchez. Long overdue episode. Yeah. Anyway, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a webpack. You know, you would probably purchase something like this for about 50 bucks. So what I'm going to show you actually is how to make just the pack. And if we have time, maybe I'll show you how to make these straps as well. So let's start off by naming the supplies you're going to need for this pack. So first of all, when you make a spider web pack, you're going to want it to look like it's made of Spider-Man's spider webs. So in order to do that, you're going to need some white yarn. Uh, this white yarn I got at my local Michaels for about five bucks. So this is going to give you that cool spider web look when it comes to your web pack. The second thing you're going to need. Now this thing is going to be the most important thing you're going to need. A lot of people use different you know, structures for the web pack. I found something that is one, extremely light, two, the perfect shape, and three, it's hollow, so you can actually put things inside of it. So I came upon this by, again, going to Michael's when I was buying the yarn. I went down the foam section of Michael's and I found this bad boy. This is a styrofoam half sphere, uh, again, hollow and extremely light. Uh, this is the 10 inch half sphere. You got $12 here and $5 for the yarn. So you're hitting $17 almost at that $20 mark. But again, we're trying to keep it on a budget. So for now, I think that's really good. The third thing you're going to need, this is what I use. I'm not saying this is the correct way to uh, you know, build a pack. This is not the incorrect way to build a pack. This is Mad Matt Sanchez's way to build a web pack. So again, and I'm also doing this on a budget. So this was the 3M Super 77 multi-purpose adhesive. But yeah guys, so this was about five bucks. So now we're hitting $23, 23 US dollars for a web pack. And you know what? That beats any price that you're gonna spend out there with a prop maker. So let's do this, let's make this and um, get started all right guys so we got all our materials laid out we have our sphere we got our yarn and we have our spray adhesive two things that I left out one thing I hope you have um, which everybody usually does have is just a pair of scissors these pair of scissors are gonna be used for cutting the yarn when you're done wrapping around the structure of your web pack the second thing I forgot to mention that's actually a pretty important thing that you're gonna need what you're gonna need to do is get a cup so what you're gonna do is you're gonna use this to be placed inside of the sphere and make sure that the object you're using is actually longer than the sphere. When you're placing the object that's gonna leave your opening, you're gonna wanna have it on one of the sides of your sphere. You know, you don't want it dead center. You're gonna wanna put it at least on top. And in order to have that stay still, you're gonna spray a little light coat of adhesive on the cup on the bottom and or you can know if you want the opening smaller you're gonna go on the opposite end you're gonna put it here but I suggest at least something big enough for you to be able to fit your hand into um, so you're gonna spray the light coat there and you're gonna just lay it inside of the sphere and you don't want to put too much where you know you're not gonna be able to pull this thing out you want it there so at least it's nice and firm and placed onto the sphere uh, so that way it stays in place as you're wrapping it around so what I want to do is give a little you know a little a little example or a start off example as what I'm gonna be doing first um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just speed the rest of the video up so we're gonna get started by doing the light coat on the cup putting it on the on the uh, inside of the sphere once that's in place I'm gonna flip it over and then I'm gonna spray another small thin layer of adhesive on the sphere itself so that way it has a tackiness to it and I emphasize on a light coat guys because if you guys spray a heavy coat it's gonna take forever to dry and it's not gonna be tacky right away and you want to do this thing quick so you're gonna spray a light coat once you do that you're all ready to start wrapping your yarn and you're gonna wrap your yarn around the structure and also around the cup or whatever object you used for your opening you're gonna go around around and once you feel like you've done a nice layer over everything you're gonna notice that the yarns are gonna be sticking to the structure which is awesome but if you want to add more 
strength to it. Once you're done with your first layer of yarn, you're gonna go ahead, oh, sorry, you're gonna go ahead and spray another light coat over that yarn and then you're gonna proceed and keep going. You're gonna keep doing that back and forth, back and forth, as many layers as you want. So if you notice that I went in all kinds of different angles and the more you do that, the more it's gonna look like spider webs. If you keep going one way, another way, it's just gonna be a bunch of straight lines. It's not gonna look good. So you wanna go crazy when you're doing this. So here we go. And uh, my wife's gonna kill me because I'm doing this inside the house. So, but luckily enough, I'm doing it in the craft room. Um, so no, uh, the smell can stay within this craft room. Um, but okay, I suggest, highly suggest not doing this inside. You do this outside, guys. But I'm just doing this for the purpose of this video for you. So I'm willing to get in trouble with my wife for you guys. So here we go. Light little coat. Let some air hit it. Put it on the sphere. Down for a little bit. You're just gonna hold it for a little bit. You notice? Look at that. Boom. How quick was that? It's already a part of the sphere itself. So we got that done. And we're gonna turn it over. And now we're gonna spray the sphere itself. Remember, light coats, guys. You wanna be a good distance away. Got that going. Now let's start. We're gonna wrap. Let's go this way. So this is what you're gonna be doing the entire time. And again, you wanna go crazy. You wanna go in different angles every time you come back around because that's gonna give you again that spider web look. Um, so yeah guys, so Right now, the yarn is sticking to, the yarn is sticking pretty good to the sphere right now because of that light little coat I did. Um, and it's already going pretty nicely. There you go, look at that. All right guys, so this is what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the video. So, I hope this process helps you out. Look, there you go. Got that, this is the other side, what it's looking like so far, and you're just gonna wanna keep going. You're gonna do one layer of yarn, you're gonna spray with adhesive, do another layer of yarn, until it starts looking like a web pack. And once you're done with that, I'll go ahead and uh, slow this video back down to show you what you do next. Alright guys, so <laughs> that took longer than I thought, but here we go. We got the web pack. Let's get a better look at that. You guys can see I went around the object that I placed here, like I mentioned. And uh, I'm pretty sure I'm done. I mean, I could go more, but this thing is just going to keep going and going and going and I think it's good enough and another cool thing that I actually realized is that since the uh, styrofoam is white you know there's some spots here that I didn't hit but you can't notice because it's white and uh, and so is the webbing so it just looks like the entire thing is is, um, is pretty much done after you're done with this you're gonna get the yarn and try to find a spot where you feel is the strongest um, on your uh, web pack as far as the uh, meaning strongest like you know like where the yarn is just really tight and you're gonna want to go under that complete area uh, stick the yarn in there so let's see if I could do this in one shot because this thing actually does take forever to do um, okay I'm gonna go in What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go all the way inside of the sphere and then bring that piece of yarn back up on another end uh, right here there we go got it so you see that it went in 
right here all the way underneath everything and now it came out right there so there you go like this so you're gonna make a knot as you would uh, you know a shoe or I don't know how you guys tie your shoes nowadays everyone has different ways of doing it but you're gonna want to do that I do it repetitively probably about maybe three times just because I want this to be extra extra tight so uh, but yeah guys so I finished the wrapping and now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, well this is quite tacky Ooh, I'm gonna get in trouble oh. <laughs> um, but okay guys so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take this out now it's pretty good in there because all this yarn that's wrapping around it okay guys but you see what I mean so now there's an opening there you go boom right there so I can put my hand in here grab whatever it is I need and uh, there you go so that's gonna be uh, the web pack for now um, this video was actually longer than I expected so but that's just for the web pack for right now guys I might do a video on the straps uh, I don't know we'll see but uh, yeah guys that's how you make a web pack for 25 bucks if there's anything that you guys need to um, know that I left out on this video just go ahead and comment me below um, and please subscribe guys if you guys come around this uh, this video or any of my other videos just please subscribe um, the more uh, subscribers I get the more requests I get the more cool videos I'm gonna do like this to help you guys out you know that are on a budget or um, that just want to upgrade you know your uh, your cosplays so yeah guys so thanks for watching and uh, just please subscribe and give a thumbs up to this video and uh, I'll see you webheads later